Fire can be devastating. It can ruin homes and lives. The best way to protect yourself and your family is not to let a fire start in the first place. Fires can start in many ways and in any part of a building. But the most common places for house fires to start are in the kitchen, living room or bedroom. Chip pans and grills in particular are a major cause of fire in the kitchen. Always stay in the kitchen if you are cooking with fat or hot oil. If you are distracted while you are cooking, either by the doorbell, the phone, the television or the family, turn the cooker or hob off before you leave the room. It's easily done. You put the chip pan on, then the doorbell goes, or the phone rings, or one of your family needs you. And the chip pan sits there getting hotter and hotter. Next thing you know, the house is filling with smoke. You go and investigate, and all too often this is what happens next. Never try to move the pan or put the fire out by yourself using water or a wet towel. This might happen, and the injuries will be serious. So what should you do? Well, the safest thing would be to not have a chip pan in your home. Use a thermostat-controlled electric deep-fat fryer instead. But if you do have a chip pan, make sure you never fill it more than a third full. If the fat gets too hot and starts to smoke, turn off the heat, but only if it is safe to do so. Then leave the pan to cool. If you can't turn off the heat, leave the room, close the door behind you, and call the Fire and Rescue Service on 999. Get out, stay out, call 999. Keep oven gloves and tea towels away from the cooker when you're not using them. And remember to check you've turned the gas or electricity off when you've finished cooking. This high chair tray was put on the cooker top whilst the child was having her face wiped. The gas hob had been left on. It was spotted just in time. Another 30 seconds and it would have been too late. It's a good idea to clean your oven and grill pan regularly, even after every use if you can. Fires can start from fat or grease that's been left. Once reheated, it can easily start to smoulder and burn. Try also to keep young children out of the kitchen when you are cooking. They could be a dangerous distraction. Many fires start because of faults with washing machines, tumble dryers and dishwashers. The nighttime cycle may save you a few pence, but it could cost lives. If they are faulty and a fire starts, you are less likely to know. Certain appliances, such as washing machines, should have a single socket to themselves because they are such high-powered products. Don't use adapters. This is a property after a serious kitchen fire. Cigarettes and other smoking materials account for 10% of fires in the home and a third of all deaths in accidental domestic fires. Don't smoke when you're drowsy and definitely don't smoke in bed. If you do smoke in the home, remember to use a proper ashtray, not a waste paper basket. If you use candles, remember to put them in a proper holder. The thin metal case around tea lights is not meant to be a proper holder. It can get very hot and be a dangerous fire risk. Keep candles and ashtrays away from materials that might burn, such as curtains, hangings and paper. Make sure candles, burners and cigarettes are put completely out when you've finished using them, especially at night before you go to bed. Remember, put it out, right out. Don't leave children or pets alone with candles and be very careful when wearing loose or flowing clothing. There's more about this and what to do if the worst does happen later in the DVD. These days most homes are filled with electrical appliances and it's easy to overload our sockets. A much safer option is to use a good quality strip adapter with the correct fuse rather than a block or cube adapter. Don't run electrical leads and flexes under rugs or carpets and don't use appliances with damaged or worn flexes. If you're in doubt, get advice from a qualified electrician.
On a cold day, curling up in front of the fire, especially a real one, can be a lovely feeling. But remember to make sure it's put out properly when you've finished with it, especially before you go to bed. Use a fire guard. Don't be tempted to dry clothes too near the fire or on the fire guard itself. The slightest spark could start a real fire. Get your fire cleaned or swept out regularly, and fuel such as logs must be kept a metre away from the fire. As we've already seen, smoking when you're tired or in bed can be extremely dangerous, but there are other dangers in the bedroom. Check electric blankets regularly for wear and tear. Folding them can damage the wiring, so it's best to store them flat or rolled up. If in doubt, don't use it. Be careful when putting hair dryers and straighteners down. Switch them off after you've used them and try to put them on a heatproof mat or dinner plate. Alcohol impairs your judgment. It makes you drowsy, forgetful and less aware of things around you. You may not even hear the smoke alarm if it goes off. If you live alone, who's going to wake you up? You won't be as alert if you do wake up in time and your escape plan might be forgotten or unclear in your mind when you need to remember it most.